It was always a questionable place to set up a goldfish pond in Brooklyn, but now the fish are gone after the FDNY turned off the leaky hydrant that created the pond. The department says it is a safety issue. Yeah, they need to have access to hydrants in case of an emergency, but some in the community love the pond and they wanted it to become a permanent fixture. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Charlesworth is live in Brooklyn with the story. Michelle. Well, uh, you know, the, the fish died because they didn't have any water because the firefighters came here over the last day, actually yesterday, and they did what they always do. They check on hydrants every six months, but they had to fix the leaky hydrant. So they sealed the leak, they sealed the hydrant, and uh, people in the neighborhood say they love the fish. And they want it to be fire safe, but they want to see if maybe there's some way that this neighborhood can somehow have it all. It didn't hurt anything. What hurt it was when they turned the water off. This is what the spot looks like now. Gone, dozens of little goldfish. This is what it looked like before. These fish and the little hydrant aquarium were a favorite neighborhood curiosity. I just came over to see it. I didn't know that I was shut down. I'm finding out that all the fish are dead. I'm kind of sad about it. I just came over to like sit down and have my lunch there, but I guess it's gone. A leaky hydrant and the pool of water it made this summer is what started all of this whimsicality. But securing and sealing the hydrant on Tuesday is what ended it. Look, look at his face. Remember the fireman that did it. Kill all the fish. People enjoy this place. We had international media attention, and yet somehow, I'm a licensed architect. I'm part of the team for this. I live on this block. No city agency reached out to us. You know when you're a kid and you like promise never to grow up too much? Yes. And yes. you stay full of wonder stay full, and do crazy things? Yes. Is that what this is? That's what it was. How'd yeah. you stay this way? I was a Boy Scout. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I like stuff like that. You're a country boy living in the city? Yes, ma'am. You see that? That is a solar panel and there's actually a heater attached. This was all part of their whole plan to keep the fish alive during the winter by regulating the temperature of the water. Keep it at 55 to 60 temperature and they should be okay. So now there is an effort to build it back and get new fish. People do understand that the firefighters were just doing their job so that the hydrant works and people who live here have a working fire plug. You know what? The whole Shakespearean drama of this whole thing is just gonna make it stronger. That's what they say. All right, you can see there are little places for people to eat lunch here, and people do. There's a little library. This liner here, this gray liner, looks like a giant blanket here. This is all part of them trying to make this a more permanent fixture. And they were actually planning, and they're still planning, a Halloween party right here. Two firefighters who are huge fans of this stopped by a little while ago. So we'll see how this um, works out. We'll keep you posted. We're live in bed -Stuy tonight. Michelle Charlesworth, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. This is such an only in New York City story. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs>